Hey everyone, Sarah Spiker here. Happy Friday. I'm heading into a meeting, but before I do so, I wanted to um, talk about something that struck me as interesting over having over, I'd say four or five conversations over the past couple of days. Um, and I'm seeing this more and more and more often. Um, so I thought I'd share this with you in case you're one of those people so you know what to do and what not to do. So, like I said, I had this past four or five conversations I had with entrepreneurs. Um, each and every one of them had a desire to up-level their business, meaning to increase their revenues, to get more clients, and in the meantime, to hopefully work a little bit less. Um, and when I talk about increasing revenues, we were talking about doubling, tripling, even quadrupling their current revenues. So it's not just, you know, adding maybe a client or so, but really building um, a business to take it, the revenues to the next level and turning them into something sustainable and not just month to month guessing game. What struck me as interesting though, was that not one of those four people actually sat down to crunch the numbers. And I'm telling you, <laughs> Um, crunching numbers used to be so scary to me. Um, even though I am a person who comes from a background of taking action and analyzing things when it came to numbers in business, I always associated them with, you know, boring Excel spreadsheets and complicated formulas. And it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be complicated. However, you do need to know the numbers in your business and it is the numbers game after all. So what came up, became apparent and as we were talking with those four people, not one of them sat down to understand where do their clients come from? What's their conversion rate? How many people do they need to talk to in order to be able to get more clients, first of all? Second of all, they never sat down to really get an understanding of capacity that they had to work with, to understand the price points of their services, to sit down and analyze their product lines. You know, where is the room for additional revenues? Where did money leaks? Uh, what's going on? And I really, like I said, it strikes me as interesting because um, those are the essentials that you need in order to be able to build from there. So if you find yourself as, you know, uh, spinning in circles, not knowing where to start and cringing when you just hear the, the word crunch the numbers, talk to me, you know, uh, let me know what's coming up. Let's sit down. Let me walk you through the process. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be super simple. It can be done in half an hour or so on one piece of paper. Um, I can have that over to you as well. So let me help you. It doesn't have to be hard, but you cannot do anything or you cannot do much in terms of business growth if you don't know where you're starting from. So uh, happy Friday again, and I uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.